what it do YouTube my name is bear witness and today I have another one we're back at it again we have some Fortnite talk to do and before I start this video this is a rant this is an opinion disclaimer strictly opinion based but guess what I'd love to hear your opinion in the comment section below but this isn't the first time you've done it if you guys are not new to my channel this is not going to be about season 5 although we'll take a look at other seasons while we talk about it but here we go first things first want to mention that the cosmetically and the battle pass I like it not even gonna lie it's dope and this is that's not part of my problem so when I mention season 6 I don't mean the battle pass but one of my biggest problems with this is one there seems to be a almost non-existent skill gap anymore I was playing with my friend the other day. You guys have seen him on the uh, uh, on streams. You guys have seen him, you know, on games. I was playing with my friend the other day. His name was Batman. And he said, "You know what, man? I'm trying to play this game, and the more I look at it, there doesn't seem to be much of a skill gap. There doesn't seem to be there doesn't seem to be anything going on here. It just kind of seems like the same thing again. Kind of just seems like that. I was like, you know what? You're right." It took me a little bit, I argued with him on the fact of it, but it took me a little bit to realize that he was right. Where there used to be a actual skill gap, there is no longer a skill gap. There is just a, uh, what, I don't even know what you want to call it. It's just, it, it kind of like the game catered to almost everybody that didn't want to work at the game. Even though they added game modes into the game, that presented an option for you to get better. It presented a whole option for you to get better. And, and they still, they still didn't allow those to stay in the game. So, guys, my issue is this. Where does it end? Where, where, where do we get the old Fortnite back for all the players? See, my thing is, is I feel like Fortnite got caught up in making money and appealing it to everybody rather than making it so the players that had been playing the game that supported the game for it to get as popular as it did it didn't do anything now this is coming from a person that has worked very hard to get his building up to the point where it was actually deemed okay good even you know so I, I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit salty on that point but let me let me let me reiterate on why I'm saying these things why I'm saying there's no skill gap let's take into account all the weapons they've added that took absolutely no skill and I'm going to use one that was taken out of the game we have the Tommy gun that was a cool weapon it did a lot of damage it was nice it had good fire rate had a lot of bullets though so consistently was the weapon that people should use if they want to spam down your building so that was kind of a problem let's move on to the LMG another problem spams down buildings ridiculous stopping power talking about you don't even have to really be trying to even to destroy somebody like that now the third weapon the new smg the the, the p90 i forgot what it's called in game but it's it's the p90 we've all used it it's the purple one or the gold one it replaced the tax sub it, it mm, that thing is infuriating because not only is it for spamming down buildings it's also a laser and I'm kind of in the game and I'm thinking what's going on here where like you have enough bullets to not only destroy my whole building but also laser me down from a pretty respectable distance what what, what is that what's going on there so the skill gap and the weapons are kind of a problem but let's take it let's take it into consideration you're in a game a person that shoots is not to spill the spam build you but instead try to gain high ground on you how long does it take for him to get frustrated and then use his grappler to get up to you or use his rift to go to get out of the situation entirely leaving you out in the middle of nowhere and wondering where he's at and wondering if he's got an even better advantage point or where he's at if he doesn't choose to just you know land on your forehead which is a, a pretty usual response actually since added into the game now these are all issues but one of the biggest issues that I have 
is the fact that they keep adding these consumables. And this year's consumable is the ability to phase through walls guys yes you heard me right now let me explain it to you guys a lot of people haven't noticed it yet or they haven't used it enough to realize that that's what it does usually when talking about phase or phasing not phase the phase clan or whatever i'm talking about phasing as in like p-h-a-s-e so phasing is moving through objects so naturally i was like yo they said phase so let me let me go see if i can do that so i go up to a wall and I try to phase through it. And guess what happens? Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. No. I walked through the, 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 the building. And so I'm out here. And I'm like, who comes up with these ideas? Who says, who, not, better yet, not who comes up with the ideas. Everybody's got the, the right to be stupid. Who co-signs them? Who's the dude that co-signs these ideas? That's my problem. So, most of all, it's actually gameplay changes that actually made me upset. Not to mention, we'll just put it out there, just for the sake of it. Just so you guys know that I haven't forgotten what's important. The fact that you can do crazy things. When you get the opportunity and everything goes right, and you play with a player that's been playing a while, and they actually want to get into a build fight with you, and then guess what? You're above them, and you take that shotgun shot, and you hit them for 32? Um... Um... Uh, Explain to me why they didn't take away the shotgun like delay as well like yo you nerfed shotgun damage But you chose to leave the shotgun delay so now you're forced to switch to another weapon but the funny thing is is that The only difference of being able to use two shotguns versus using another weapon Well if the other weapon it, it, it takes more accuracy because the other weapons you have to line up the shot the shotguns have a more widespread effect but that's pretty much it but nine times out of ten if you can lock on those shots ugh, you know you're putting out more damage so trying to figure that part out who thought that was a good idea but that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys, I had a lot of mixed responses from the last time I made a video like this. So I very much hope that you guys will, when you guys watch this video, you guys will take partake inside the comment section. You guys will, you know, tell me what you guys feel. Tell me what you guys think about Fortnite in the current moment. Tell me what you guys are thinking in general about a lot of things in the fortnite community i'd love to hear about it guys so make sure you blow up that comment section leave a like if you enjoyed the video also if you guys haven't joined the bear squad go ahead and sign up or not sign up click that sub button and i'll see you guys next time peace